All right, kind of at a unique location today. We are at uh, Four Corners Park. It's raining, so I have to kind of be careful what I do here. Got my hat over top of this camera. Um, but you can see here, this thing here, this fountain and everything, Four Corners Park. And uh, back behind me here, um, the big thing back there. And there's a uh, motorcycle ride that they do with uh, the guys will ride to the four corners. There's four of these parks in America. And um, this park here is actually the one in the far northeast of the country. So kind of an interesting location. I'll walk over here quick and see if I can get some video of this, this thing. There's a big factory across the road if you're hearing that low kind of roaring noise. So keep my hat above the thing here. But uh, kind of an interesting place. We've been here different times over the years. We come up to Madawaska, but here's the actual sign behind me right there. You can see the Four Corners Park. And so we're in the upper Upper corner there, Madawaska, Maine, is where we're at. So just wanted to share this. We were making a trip up here today to come up here. And um, we used to actually come up here to do some shopping up the road that way. Uh, heading to the east, I guess that would be. And up there, there used to be a, a Kmart that we would come up to and a Cubby Thrift Store, I think it was called. And um, we come up there, and they were both really neat places to go shopping, and then both places cut shut down over the years. So we don't go to Madawaska very often. Um, probably a little over two hour drive up to here. So, but we, Oliver wanted to come up, so we decided to come up. But um, just thought it was a interesting thing. Um, heard a statement. A guy made here I think it was uh, there's a guy Colonel Douglas McGregor and he was he'd made this statement about how that um, America right now has an entitlement economy <laughs> and I thought that was pretty insightful an entitlement economy people think that they are owed things when they're not and um, people think that they have a right to a house when they don't actually have the money for it they think that they have a right to a car to a lot of things and uh, it lines up with what the Bible says about the end times that people would be lukewarm and, um, and the church actually would be lukewarm the church of Laodicea not just people but actually a church would be lukewarm and uh, neither hot nor cold and uh, when you are entitled when you feel entitled to things um, it leads to lukewarmness you don't want to take really strong stands because you could lose everything and you know I don't want to stand completely for the King James Bible and I don't want to stand completely for the new versions. I'll just kind of say it's up to you. Um, I don't really know how the pre-trib, post-trib, mid-trib, it, it'll pan-trib. It'll all pan out in the end. That's all lukewarmness. I don't want to say that Roman Catholicism is wrong or wicked or something like that. Oh, you know, see? Lukewarm. It's better to just stand for the truth and just simply say, I don't care what people think about me. Um, doesn't matter to me. Um, I have my stands. I have my beliefs. And uh, the Bible talks about in 1 Timothy chapter 6, by the way, about how that uh, they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. And it goes on to say, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. I've preached that verse quite a few times. That's why I have it memorized. But um, again, I'm not trying to attack people that are in debt. Like I've said, I had debt in the past. I'm trying to encourage you to get out of debt. I'm trying to encourage you to say, you know what, I don't really need that right now. I think I can wait. Don't become entitled. Uh, the Bible says, again in 1 Timothy chapter 6, having food and raiment, let us be there with content. Food and raiment. Food in your stomach, clothing on your back, you should be content with that. You should be happy with that. Uh, 
doesn't say that you have to have all the other things and whatever else. Um, we're not going to be carrying anything out when we leave this world. Um, it is certain we can carry nothing out, the Bible talks about. So, just wanted to put a little video together here quickly. I'll show you something else here when I can. Um, I wish this rain would uh, stop. But, um, see if I can get out here quick and show you something else. It's kind of an interesting thing to tell you how far up north we are here. Um, let's go like this, try to shield my camera. I'm getting rained in on the face here. <laughs> uh, but over here, I'll see if you can see if you can see this. Let's see if we can get this on camera. Really getting the thing coming in now. But back in there, can, you can see probably some big tall buildings. There's a big Babel building back in there. Big Catholic cathedral. That's uh, Canada, right there. So St. John River goes between Maine here, America, and over there is Canada. So pretty interesting. But uh, let me do it this way here. Um, <laughs> it's kind of weird. But um, so there's all these interesting things here, different people donating stuff and whatever else, I guess. Kind of neat to see. Most of you will probably never get to see this, so I thought I'd just take a few minutes and show it to you. And um, I'll just kind of walk around here a little bit more. Of 1996 Manawaska High School, two years after I graduated. But, um, yeah, so up up this curb thing here. But just I want you to think about some things. Again, this whole purpose of this ministry is to make you think, to uh, say things that other people not say. Uh, most churches are. Well, all churches are about your tithe money. They're corporations under government authority. So, take you over here quick and show you this big moose statue. Kind of neat. Real quick here. This is uh, not the size of a real moose, of course. They don't get that uh, wide, but pretty neat so I'll get back on underneath the roof here oh the oh, camera's getting all wet so I'll uh, bring this video to an end but um so hopefully you've enjoyed the little video here of, of uh, Four Corners Park Madawaska Maine um, let me know in the comments section if you've ever been here uh, you're from the area or if you're a Mainer and you've traveled up here to see the the uh, north the farthest northeast corner of America pretty fascinating but um, I guess that will be it for now thank you very much for watching <laughs>